They had not heard even from an angel. It is tragic for human being to walk under the sun and not hear what the Lord is saying. And all this time 400 years heaven was never silent. They had a plan of how they will come in and not only encourage Israel but rescue mankind once and for all. So some shepherds will receive some good news from angels that were singing praises and they are telling them the savior you are waiting for many years and I want you to know these shepherds these shepherds where they were they were kept in a certain place where they were going to watch sheep give birth because the lambs that were being born that particular time are the ones that were going to be sacrificed at the temple so it was somehow prophetic because they used to get the lamp wrap it and then make it sleep on the manger so this particular time as they are waiting an angel will come and speak to them and kind of passing a message that you will no longer be doing his because one will come and pay a not made price that will redeem mankind once and for all as they are waiting for the land to be born the savior right there a few kilometers away from where they were Jesus is going to be born wrapped and kept in that manger and angels will speak to the shepherds and tell them you know what this struggle you have gone through many years is now coming to an end and they quickly ran there and the bible says they found it to be true that Jesus had been born and had been wrapped lying down there under the command of the king that was there to do census Mary and Joseph took a journey close to a hundred kilometers not knowing that journey will be used by God to fulfill something that mankind will appreciate forever and forever because Jesus is going to be born in Bethlehem according to the prophetic word that was given by God from the prophets that this savior is going to be born there and when you hear the word that Bethlehem it meant the house of warriors that is where Jesus was born no wonder people expected you know Jesus to fight for them and redeem them from Roman rule 
kutokana na ile utawala wa Kirumi because of where he was born kwa sababu alizaliwa people didn't have the spirit of understanding and revelation to understand the mission of Jesus that he was not coming to fight a physical battle but he was coming to redeem mankind his battle was going to be spiritual but expectation of Israel was because Jesus is being born from the house of warriors and in that connection from the house in islands of David they had an expectation that Jesus will become more dangerous than David but I can tell you finally Jesus will not disappoint because he's not going to be dealing with Goliath time will come when he's going to deal with the real enemy the devil because he will go to hell and defeat the devil in his base and destroy him forever so that anyone that will come from slaughter or kiambea or kariobangi or wherever and they believe in this Jesus will overcome every challenge of life with ease you can overcome poverty you can overcome lack you can overcome diseases when you receive this Jesus who overcame all and defeated the enemy may God help you walk in a path of your freedom I wish this beautiful world where we are taking selfies all the time. Natamani huu ulimwengu ambao ni maridadi na tunapiga ma selfie kila wakati. I wish this world Natamani huu dunia will be like what we see on Facebook. Itakuwa kile ambacho tunaona kwa Facebook. Because kwa sababu we just see good things. Tunaona tu vitu vizuri. Beautiful women. Wanawake ambao ni warembo couples that are swimming with horses people who are so rich the photos they take there are crazy photos they, they look very beautiful you will never see a woman there taking a photo after she wakes up because social media has shown us kind of another world that is I wish this world was like the way we see it there couples that are just you know feeding each other in Facebook they are on this trip to Dubai they are swimming in the, in the sand you know they have these nice photos you know hairstyle is this in the morning that in the afternoon then I wish even the meals they take photos there is what we eat every day because of the way you know the way they display the table there I would imagine they feed on that every day I wish, I wish it was like that I wish it was like Facebook I wish it was like the way people portray on social media how they show that you know they write there 
enjoying life vile wanaonyesha kule vile wana chiburudisha na maisha and then they say feeding with a big spoon you know there is the way they i wish i wish would be feeding with a big spoon natamani ungekuwa una wangekuwa wanalisha na kijiko kubwa but the reality is lakini ukweli ni hii in this life katika maisha haya there are challenges that come our way kuna changamoto ambazo zina zinatupata kwa njia yetu there are challenges kuna changamoto is not as we see on facebook sio vile ambavyo tunaona katika facebook there are some things that we are facing kuna mambo ambayo tunakumbana nazo that we never even call for yenye ambayo hata hatukutamani zikuje we are busy minding our own business sisi tunaendelea na shughuli zetu and all of a sudden na kidogo the devil comes shetani anakuja because you can't tell him not to come kwa sababu hautamwambia asikuje jesus said he will come yesu akasema atakuja it is jesus who said he will come yesu mwenyewe alisema atakuja one day god is very busy in heaven siku moja mungu ako na shughuli nyingi kule mbinguni he had a meeting with the sons of god alikuwa na mkutano na wana wa mungu and out of nowhere na ata atujui alitokea wapi the devil came shetani alitokezea without any notice bila kupeana ujumbe ya kwamba nakuja and kind of god has where are you coming na mungu anashindwa wewe unatoka wapi and he gives an account of where he is coming from na anaelezea mahali ambapo ametoka you know there are some people that don't give an account unajua kuna watu wengine hawawezi elezea but the devil gave an account ni shetani aliweza kuelezea he said alisema i have been moving all over the world nimekuwa nikisurura ulimwengu kote i have destroyed kamau mimi nimeangamiza kamau i have destroyed otieno nimeangamiza otieno i have destroyed jen nimeangamiza jen and god never disputed na mungu hakuweza kupinga hali the devil was speaking the truth shetani alikuwa anaongea ukweli see sometimes naona wakati mwingine life will give you what you didn't expect maisha itakupatia kile ambacho hukutarajia look at your neighbor and remind them you didn't tell them life will give you at times what you didn't expect maisha maisha wakati mwingine itakupatia kile ambacho hukutarajia can you tell them smiling tell them life ukitabasamu okay if you can't say life say maisha maisha sa ingine itakupe kitu huko unatarajia you see even right now naona hata saa hizi you see some of you had plans wengine wenyu mlikuwa na mipango you had even saved your plans in the computer mlikuwa hata mmeweka mpangilio yenu katika eh, computer yeah when i grow up eh nikikuwa mkubwa when i grow up nikikuwa mkubwa i wish ninatamani i want to become a pilot nataka nikuwe rubani when i grow up nikikuwa i want to be married at 27 Nataka niolewe kwa miaka 27 And if things don't happen 27 I should not by past 28 and a half Na mambo yasipofanyika kwa miaka 27 si, sitaki kupita miaka 28 na nusu And then they are on computer you are saying Na hapo kwa computer you want to have your first born at 30 Unasema ya kwamba nataka kupata kifungua mimba kwa miaka 30. Then my second born at 33 and 2 hours. Na mzaliwa wa pili kwa miaka 33 na masaa mawili. You see there the, is the way you plan. Unaona vile eh, kuna vile unaweza una panga. But right now are you a pilot? Lakini sasa hivi wewe ni rubani? Even a bicycle is at all order you have not rode on anything. Papa iskeli peke yake ni kisungumkuti. Are you there? Wewe uko pale? Are you injecting people? Are you a doctor? Wewe unadunga watu wewe ni daktari? Tell you neighbor but things happen this life things this happen. Mwambie mwenzako katika maisha haya mambo yanafanyika. Now there's a woman here. Kuna mwanamke ambaye alikuwa hapa. A woman mwanamke ambaye alikuwa hapa that had a vision to be married ambaye alikuwa na maono ya kuolewa she had a vision to have a husband alikuwa na maono ya kukuwa na mume and the bible na biblia inasema acknowledges biblia pia inatambua that this woman ya kwamba huyo mwanamke was a virgin alikuwa mwanawali 
tells you this was a superwoman. Inakwambia huyu ni mwanamke ambaye hakukua kidogo. That knew how to keep herself pure. Alikuwa anajua kujiweka msafi. And if there was a woman, na kama kuna mwanamke, that maybe people thought would have attracted good life was this one. Baye watu walikuwa nafikiria atakuwa na maisha mazuri ni huyu. Even the name itself, Anna. Hata jina peke yake Anna. Anna is a good name. Anna ni jina nzuri. You, you can't compare Anna with like a name like Bartholomew or something or Andrew. You know, a, it's a, it's a it's a fa, it's a nice name. Hautalinganisha Anna na Andrea ama Bartholomew. Because you can just leave alone Anna and say Anne. Kwa sababu unaweza achana na Hana useme Anne. 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 Anne is a good name. Anne ni jina nzuri. You know very focused yeye ni mtu wa mtazamo and very committed in life na pia amejitoa katika maisha she never followed patterns of young people what they were doing hakufuata eh, mienendo ya watu wadogo vile walikuwa wanafanya and she decided to wait on god akaamua kungojea mungu and she was blessed with a husband na akabarikiwa na mume and this is about life hii ni kuhusu maisha. This is about life. Hii ni kuhusu maisha. And the Bible says, Na Biblia inasema, This woman, huyo mwanamke, was a prophetess. Alikuwa mnabii. Let me tell you the truth. Mwacha niwaambie ukweli. Let me tell you the truth. Mwacha niwaambie ukweli. When the Bible says you are a prophetess. Biblia ikisema wewe ni mnabii, let me tell you the truth. Mwacha niwaambie ukweli. You are hearing from God. Wewe unasikia kutoka kwa Mungu. No, not the prophetess of today. Sio mnabii ya siku ya leo who don't even listen to themselves. Ambao hata hawajisikii wenyewe. No not like those ones of today. Sio kama wale wa leo. When the Bible says that this woman, Biblia ikisema huyu mwanamke, Anna, Anna. Sijui yako ana ana nini. Anna, Anna, this one, huyu was a prophetess. Alikuwa mnabii. Tells you she could prophesy. Inakwambia angeweza kutoa unabii. And one of the things that drives you to love her ni na kitu moja ambacho kitakufanya umpende is because of her purity ni kwa sababu ya ya, ya usafi wake tells you that there are dimensions of grace you will never enjoy inakuonyesha kwamba kuna viwango vya neema hutawahi furahia if you don't have a pure heart kama hauna moyo msafi so this lady hana huyo mwanamke hana has been serving in the temple amekuwa akitumika kwa hekalu encouraging other people akiwa anatia moyo watu wengine telling them it shall be well akiwaambia itakuwa vizuri telling them you will be healed akiwaambia utaponywa telling them you will prosper in all ways kuambia utafanikiwa kwa njia zote but after seven years kini baada ya miaka saba She had every reason to give up on this God. Because how do you become a prophet? You are prophesying. How good God is. How Jehovah is faithful. Then all of a sudden seven years and there is no even a record of babies hata hakuna mahali tumeonyeshwa alikuwa na watoto your husband dies mume wako anakufa imagine married for seven years alikuwa ameolewa kwa miaka saba. you have every reason uko na kila sababu to say like what they say these days kusema vile wanasema siku hizi that god is not fair ya kwamba mungu ako na upendeleo because at seven years kwa sababu kwa miaka saba. is when now you are beginning to flow in marriage ni sasa wakati wa kuweza kuingia vizuri katika ndoa because the first three years people really struggle in marriage kwa sababu miaka tatu eh, ya kwanza watu wanangangana sana because you, you came from uh, kitui <laughs> kwa sababu ulitoka kule kitui and this other one now comes from uh, kariadusi na huyu mwingine anatoka kariadusi So mixing kitui and kariadusi to become one doesn't become that easy. Kwa hivyo kuchanganya kitui na kariadusi ikwe kitu moja si rahisi. Forget about courtship. Sahau ile kuchumbiana. It's a lie. Hiyo ni uongo. You even measure what lipstick you will apply <laughs> using arura, a court courtship. Hata utapima na rula ile ile rangi ya mdomo vile utaweka. Even the way you speak when you're courting 
Hata vile unaongea wakati mnachumbiana. You are very careful. Wewe unakuwa makini sana. Not to say anything. Yaani usiseme chochote. That would make your man feel like you are a fool. Ambaye itafanya mtu wako ama mwanaume wako ahisi ya kwamba yeye ni mjinga. You are very careful even the way you walk. Uko makini sana hata vile unatembea. You don't just walk in a holiday. Wewe utembei tu utembei vile unataka. There is a way you walk. Yaani kuna vile unatembea. There is a way you walk. Mos mos unatembea pole pole. Even when you are diabetes. Hata kama uko na kisukari. They ask you are you taking sugar? Wanakuuliza wewe unakunywa sukari? They don't even finish before they even finish. Yeah, of course yes. Hata kabla hawajamaliza unasema eh ndio. How many sugars? Ngapi? Ah, even five is okay. Hata tano iko sawa. Umesahau wewe ni kisukari. So when you go past four years? Kwa hivyo ukipitisha miaka 4 in marriage. Katika ndoa Just like the way the plane goes up it's struggling kama vile ndege inaweza kupaa alafu inangangana then up it settles down alafu juu inatulia by the time you're hitting 7 years you're settling down ukifika sasa miaka saba, hapo ndipo unatulia then all of a sudden as you're taking selfies Na, and sending them to facebook, facebook and uh, instagram about sasa, your husband sasa, how you are enjoying life sasa mnaanza kupiga selfie mnatuma kwa Facebook Instagram kuonyesha vile mnafurahia maisha na mume wako because there are people who do that even kwa sababu kuna watu wanafanya hivyo even when they are cooking hata wakati wanapika wanapiga ma selfie they cook with the husbands there they show people Wana, how they are enjoying life wanapika na mume wake na wanaonyesha watu vile wanafurahia maisha but i can defend this lady she never sent any photo anywhere lakini naweza tetea huyu mwanamke hakutuma picha yoyote mahali popote but this lady lakini huyu mwanamke lost alipoteza the husband mume wake dead alikufa how do you tell people wewe utaambia watu namna gani and you are a prophet na wewe ni mnabii you have been telling people how god good is umekuwa ukiambia watu vile mungu ako mzuri hafu jehova mungu ambaye ako na nguvu now this woman na huyu mwanamke had every reason alikuwa na kila sababu to give up on god kuweza kukata tamaa na mungu and she was still young na alikuwa bado ni mdogo which was she must have been around 21 22 labda alikuwa na 20 na moja miaka kama 20 So she would have quit. Alifange angetoweka aende. And say God. Na kusema should have protected my husband. Mungu angekuwa amelinda mume wangu. You have put me to shame. Wewe umeniweka aibu. And you need to be careful. Na unastahili kukuwa makini. You need to be careful. Unafaa kuwa makini. Your drive for God. Ile kitu inakusukuma kwa Mungu is not killed. Isiuliwe. In the days of adversities kwa nyakati za mateso ama 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 kilio tell your neighbor like that don't allow your 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 love for god mwambie mwanzako usiruhusu upendo wako kwa mungu be killed because of the pain that you're going through iwawe ama ikufe kwa sababu ya ile uchungu unapitia should have lost faith in god yeye angepoteza imani kwa mungu should have said god is not fair angesema ya kwamba mungu hanipendi i have been serving mimi nimekuwa i have been committed in the house of god nimejitolea kwa mungu i have been giving tithes nimekuwa nikitoa and sacrifices na hata dhabihu zangu and nothing is not happening na kuna kitu kinafanyika then god is not faithful kwa hivyo mungu si mwaminifu but i tell you this lady ana lakini nakwambia huyu mwanamke ana even in the midst of this pain hata katikati ya hii uchungu she never lost faith in the god of israel hakutupa imani yake kwa mungu wa israeli hallelujah amen and i want to challenge you nataka nikupe changamoto siku no matter what happens in the journey of life haijalishi kile kinafanyika katika safari ya maisha don't lose faith usipoteza imani in your god kwa mungu wako she never lost yeye hakupoteza imani yake. And I want to tell you. Nataka nikwambie. Time comes when you need. Inafika wakati ambao unahitaji. To be encouraged. Kuweza kutiwa moyo. And that's why you need a base. Ndio maana unahitaji mahali. That's why you need church. Ndio maana unahitaji kanisa. That's why David is saying. Ndio maana Daudi anasema. I was glad. Nilifurahia. When they said unto me. Wakati waliponiambia. Let us go to the house of God. Kwa nyumba ya baba. Because you need a base to be encouraged. Kwa sababu unahitaji mahali ambapo utatiwa moyo. And you can only be encouraged. Na utatiwa moyo tu. 
by the man of God in the house of God this lady decided to run not running away but she ran to the house of God because she knew when she is there she is saved so never take the house of God which is your base Kwa hivyo usichukue nyumba ya Mungu ambayo ni mahali pako lightly Uchukue tu kiraisi raisi You need to be very committed Wewe unahitaji kujitolea This lady left everything Huyu mwanamke aliacha kila kitu and served na in the house of God kwa nyumba ya Mungu for 84 years kwa miaka 84 she was serving for 84 years yeye alitumika kwa miaka 84 there are some people who are not even 35 na watu ambao hata hawajafikisha 35 they were given an opportunity to serve walipewa fursa ya kutumika and they feel like they are doing their their their, their authorities favor yani na wanahisi ya kwamba ni, ni kipendeleo cha mamlaka yake this woman huyo mwanamke ran to the house of god alikimbilia nyumba ya mungu because she knew in the house of god kwa sababu alijua kwa nyumba ya mungu she will find favor yeye atapata kibali that's why you need to take the house of god with a lot of weight ndio maana unafaa kuchukua nyumba ya mungu na uzito because time will come when you need someone to encourage you kwa sababu itafika wakati unahitaji mtu akutie moyo time will come when you need someone to tell you yes you're going through what you're going through but god will come in for you very soon itafika wakati mtu atakwambia ndio unapitia kile unapitia lakini mungu atakushindia when things became bad for jesus he ran to galilee wakati mambo iliharibika kwa yesu alikimbilia galilaya And that's why you need a base. Ndio maana unahitaji mahali pa kukimbilia. You need a fellowship. Unahitaji ushirika. You need church. Unahitaji kanisa. You need a place you can run to and talk to the man of God. Unahitaji mahali ambapo utakimbilia na kunena na mtumishi wako. Because there are issues you go through. Kwa sababu kuna mambo utapitia. When you go to talk to your friends. Na ukienda kuongea na marafiki zako. They tell you. Watakwambia Have you ever gone to be encouraged by a certain friend? Only to find she needs to be encouraged more than you. You went there with an intention of someone to encourage you. And the, the moment they tell you your story, na wakati wanaanza kukuhadithia hadithi yao You go to the book of Isaiah it shall be well with the righteous you, you, you find yourself opening scriptures you start opening scriptures for them utaanza kuwafungulia maandiko have you ever gone to your uncle to look for money umewaienda kwa mjomba yako ukitafuta pesa the moment you enter in the house ukifika kwa nyumba they receive a call wanapokea simu ujalipa utalipa lini Then your uncle is saying give me three days I'm looking for money I will pay you you know I can pay and you're going there to borrow 2000 I'm telling you your story changes yeah you know uncle this world you have to be your brother's keeper I was just passing by to check on you. You know it's been long since we we had a one on one. Unajua imekuwa muda tangu tukae moja kwa moja. We have just been talking through phone. Eh tumekuwa tukiongea tu kwa simu. But you know there are some things we cannot share, you know, on phone. Lakini unajua kuna wakati hatuwezi wasiliana kwa simu. So I thought it is wisdom. Kwa hivyo niliona ni hekima to come and see how you're doing. Nipitie na nione vile unaendelea. Otherwise I didn't have much to say. Eh kwa hivyo hata sina mengi ya kusema. I want to leave now. Nataka sasa nitoke. Have you ever been there? Umewahi fika pale? Where you going for an encouragement? Ulikuwa unaenda kutiwa moyo? The only true place where you're going to have a real encouragement. Mahali ambapo tu utapata kutiwa moyo ya ukweli. Is when someone is speaking from here. Ni wakati mtu ananena kutoka hapa. This is where you get real real encouragement. Hapa ndipo utapata kutiwa moyo ya ukweli. Because what is spoken here is true. Kwa sababu kile inanenwa hapa ni ukweli. There are times your friends cannot encourage you. Yaani kuna wakati marafiki zako hawawezi kukutia. They will tell you what you are going through. Watakwambia kile unapitia. Is worse. Yaani ni mbaya zaidi. Me what I'm going through if I tell you. Kile ninapitia nikikwambia. You will die. Wewe utakufa. So instead of dying let me go home. You know. <laughs> That's why Hannah knew 
the secret of keeping herself safe in the house of God. And I can tell you, later God started talking to her and she started prophesying about how close the Messiah was about to come. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because God talked to them. He said to them, you will not die before you see the Messiah. God started talking to her. And the Bible says she was fasting day and night. At the age of 84, she was fasting day and night. How many years? How many years was she fasting day and night? You even fasting days at all order. How many, how many years? At the age of 84, she was fasting day and ask your neighbor when is the last time you fasted? You, you are not even you are not even 50. You are not even that. And the moment you hear fasting, you are shaking all over. Yeah, you know, Bishop, I have this condition. You start conditions. You start conditioning yourself. You know, Bishop, every time I fast, me, I even need prayers. By 11, I see nothing. By 11, and you know they are fasting lunch, but they are saying by 11, they see nothing. <laughs> Yeah, Bishop, you know. I feel like uh, I'm developing diabetes. So I can just ex tell me anything else, even if it's washing the chart. But when it comes to fasting, when it comes to fasting, just exempt me honestly. Even God understands me. At the age of how old? 84. Fasting day and and maybe we are not even telling you to fast day and night we are telling you to fast during the day uh, but I understand fasting is not easy it is not easy but if you want to know revelations and the secrets of God continue taking porridge you will never hear anything continue enjoying matoke you'll just see mandizi in the night all over plantations of mandizi you will never see anything you will never see the secrets of God you will never know about your future when you don't fast and pray you are just taking ugali jogo no wonder you are dreaming with makuku everywhere she was fasting then how old? 84 ask your neighbor how old are you and if you are a lady don't tell me but ladies don't tell their age Ladies don't tell the age. I have one here who was 22 for 6 years. Until I asked her, the, 3 years ago you were 22. Even this last year you were 22. This year you were 22. What's happening? She was always 22. How old, which birthday? 22 years. And you know, men forget quickly. I'm not remembering. Because the arame is not very good. 
kwa sababu kukumbuka kwao si sawa sana they were created like that yani waliumbwa bila when you see yourself reminding a man ukiona unakumbusha now and then mwanaume kila saa don't pray for them usiwaombe they were created like that waliumbwa hivyo the ram is short yani ile nafasi ya kufikiria ni fupi that memory part of them no wonder women do very well in history ndio maana wanawake wanafanya vizuri sana kwa historia you know woman can get a hundred unajua mwanamke anaweza pata asilimia because of the memory kwa sababu ya ile nafasi ya kufikiria ama kukumbuka is very sharp yani wanaweza kumbuka kwa haraka but for men lakini kwa mwanaume memory is short yani ile nafasi ya kukumbuka ni kidogo you can even see the way Masi is dancing hata unaweza ona vile Masi anacheza hapa and the other boy the other boy is swinging they, 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 it's not easy to coordinate the brain and the hands and and sio rahisi kukutembea na mikono na hata miguu yani kufanyisha kazi hizo zote but you can see they have an idea somehow lakini unaona they have an idea they are going there but it is it, it, they cannot coordinate unaona hawawezi kuunganisha hizo zote they are like that wako hivyo those are men so you you see them when you see them repeat you keep repeating kwa hivyo ukiona unarudia mambo those who are not married wale ambao hamjaoa when you marry ukioa you will have to have grace to keep repeating lazima utakuwa na neema ya kuendelea kurudia so this issue of this issue of unisikiangi utasema paka ukufe kwa hivyo hii jambo ya kusema kila wakati wewe unisikiangi Uta, utakuwa hivyo mpaka ukufe utasema hiyo paka ukufe because men don't really they are not very the memory part of them kwa sababu wanaume ile upande wa kukumbuka you keep repeating you keep repeating unaendelea kurudia you keep repeating unaendelea kurudia you keep repeating you keep telling them unaendelea kuambia we need to build a house tunahitaji kujenga nyumba they say yes wanasema ndio then you stay for six months they have forgotten we need to build a house we need to build a house paka utakuja useme na unisikiangi atakwambia oh oh pole 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 we will atakwambia pole tutajenga so amani you remind a man like maybe least car 14 times atakuwa ameshika utakumbusha mwanaume safari kama 14 ikiwa kidogo now sasa don't blame men Usilaumu wanaume. They were created like that. Waliumbwa hivyo. This woman. Huyu mwanamke. 84. Katika 84. She was still fasting and Alikuwa praying. Alikuwa bado anafunga na kuomba. How old are you? Wewe uko na miaka ngapi? You know we are having a 21 days fast. Eh tutakuwa na eh, siku 21 ya kufunga. January 5th. January kutoka tarehe 5. And I know it's not easy. Na najua si rahisi. Fasting is not easy. Kufunga si rahisi. I fasted when I was preaching in uh, Slota. Nilifunga nikihubiri kule Slota. We? Then I was called to preach. Wakati niliitwa kuhubiri, you know I opened my lap my iPad I can't see anything. Nilifungua eh, patakalishi changu na sikuwa naona chochote. I was seeing the book of Luke like the book of book. You know you don't see anything. Nilikuwa ninaona kitabu cha Luka kama kitabu cha book. Until I told them is Lewis can you come and read? Wakati nikaambia Lewis hebu kuja unisomee. Can see. Sioni. You know that that's what happens when you fast. Hivyo ndivyo inafanyika wakati umefunga. But the results. Lakini matokeo. After fasting. Baada ya kufunga. They are always amazing. Zinakuangaza ajabu. So may you have the grace to fast and pray. Kwa hivyo ukwe na neema ya kufunga na kuomba. The last thing I want to tell you. Jambo la mwisho nataka kuambia. The last thing that I want to tell you. Jambo la mwisho nitawaambia. This woman huyu mwanamke history historia yake she dealt with a history yeye alikabiliana na historia it is not a coincidence eh, sio jambo tu imefanyika tu the bible is telling you where she came from biblia inakuambia mahali alitoka how many people in the bible ni watu wangapi katika biblia we read and then we don't get to have their background tunasoma na hatujui walitoka wapi the bible says that this woman biblia inasema ya kwamba huyu mwanamke she was the daughter of phanel alikuwa binti of the Fanel. tribe of asher ya ya ukoo wa asheri see this tribe of asher unaona hii ukoo wa asheri was not in line with the interest of israel hawakukua na kitu kizuri ambao walikuwa hawakuwa na nia nzuri kuhusu Israeli. The tribe that everyone focused on, focused on was the tribe of Judah. 
Yaani ile ukoo ambaye kila mtu aliweka mtazamo ni ukoo wa Because they knew anything good will come by that type of Judah. Sababu walikuwa wanajua ya kwamba kitu kizuri kitatoka kwa ile ukoo wa Yuda. So you know the two tribes on the southern side was Benjamin and Judah. Yaani ukoo mbili ambazo zilikuwa upande wa kusini ni Benjamin na Yuda. So anything good kwa hivyo kitu kizuri spiritual physical yani ya kiroho ama ya kiasili when israel needed to hear something wakati israeli walitaka kusikia kitu they were focusing on judah and benjamin walikuwa wanatazamia benjamin na yuda this tribe of asha hii ukoo wa asheri is a deliberate attempt of the holy ghost yani ni kitu ama makusudi ya roho mtakatifu to tell you wesa kukuambia where you are coming from hali ambapo una should never be an issue when it comes to trusting God for your destination where you came from and how you are born and where you are born should never be an issue of concern you can come from nowhere and become one of the greatest of all times Asha this tribe was on the northern side whenever god wanted to measure someone like lewis wakati mungu akitaka kupima kitu ama mtu kama lewis he would measure him with jeroboam ange angempima na jeroboam or david ama tauti jeroboam was of, for this tribe jeroboam alitoka uko wa asheri the northern side ile upande wa kaskazini he did evil that carried on itself for 400 years alifanya maovu ambayo ilionekana kwa miaka 400 so when you see the spirit of god is saying she was from the tribe of asha it is encouraging you kwa hivyo ukiona roho wa mungu akisema alitoka ukoo wa asheri nikukutia moyo that you can rise ya kwamba unaweza inuka to become great ukwe mkuu and do what your clan never did you can rise from nowhere when you connect with the house of god and when you serve god you receive grace to become great regardless of where you are born regardless of where you went to school regardless of where you live regardless of what you eat you can break through the bible of says and the daughter of Phanel tribe of Asha 84 years old became great and she became a prophetess when it comes to you coming to the house of God there is no limitation you can be poor you can be poor you can be uneducated your family can be the least like that one of Gideon but when God focuses on you and when you focus on God when you have that combination you can come from such a drive of Asha and rise all the way and you don't come to escort anyone I pray that one day you're going to make history. I pray that you're going to break a record. May God make your name great. May you rise all the way to the top. May you become one of the greatest. May you conquer what your father never conquered. May you conquer what your mother never conquered. May you conquer what your uncles never conquered. May you reach where your parents never reached may the lord give you grace to conga may you conga diseases your parents never conga may you conga diseases your clan never conga may you defeat every poverty that has been holding your family captive receive the grace to break through receive the grace to break through receive the grace to break through receive the grace to become great may you rise all the way may nothing move you away from the house of god 
You will be in the house of God for long. You will be here 2026. You will be here 2030. Your generation will serve God 2050. A hundred years to come, they will serve God. They shall declare the goodness of God in the land of the living. They shall make history. Nothing will stop them from becoming great. As Anna rose all the way, being a woman and a window, and from the tribe of Asher, she broke through these, uh, you know, disadvantaged environments that she was under, and she broke through. As the Lord lives, you will break through. As the Lord lives, you will break through. You will become what you dream to become. You will become what you dream to become. It's not by power nor by might. By the Spirit of the Lord, the same God that made Anna to rise from being a window from being a someone from the tribe of Asha from being a woman the same God that helped her to rise all the way to the top the same grace we serve a God that does not change I feel time is about to come when your name is going to be on top in your family members you'll do well your children will do well you will become great they will call you blessed of God wherever you go you will become a great daughter you are never going to be put to shame because of where you came from because of where you are born you may not be knowing your father you may not be knowing your mother but thank God you know God God will make you rise away to the top the same God that gave grace Anna is the same God that we have I see you singing a new song you have been singing a song of distress you have been singing a song of discouragement you have been singing a song of sickness you have been singing a song of frustration but very soon you are going to break through that and in your house there will be a song it will be a song of joy it will be a song of gladness may God change your song it has been a song of discouragement it has been a song of stress it has been a song of distress but from today onwards may God change that song when you go to your house today may you begin to sing a new song a song of encouragement a song of victory she kept telling people she kept telling people she kept telling people one day the Messiah will come one day Jesus will come one day Jesus will come she kept on saying it every month she kept on saying every week I am here to tell you some good news whatever you have been telling people is about to come to pass you have been telling them you are going to become rich it shall be so you have been telling telling them you're going to become married you have been telling them you're going to buy a car you have been telling them you're going to buy a house very soon it will come to pass we speak to these things as seen that they become continue talking mama continue talking young man continue talking young lady continue talking don't be silenced by the spirit of discouragement whatever you have been saying will come to pass God is not a liar when you say to come to pass for sure it will come to pass I want you to keep prophesying prophesy good things to your children prophesy good things to your husband prophesy good things to your wife prophesy good things she kept on saying Jesus will come one day she kept on prophesying the Bible says she had hope that before she dies she will see Jesus I pray before you go to the 
Son, every dream you have ever had, every desire you have ever had, may God make it come to pass. Before you go to the Father, you will live a fulfilled life. If it's America, you will go past the road. If it's America, your children will go past the road. Don't you be discouraged. God is not like American embassy. He has given us the power. He said we go to the whole world. Pastor Ruth, you'll go to the whole world. Your children will go to the whole world. It shall be well with thee. They may be saying no. But very soon when God says yes, I tell you the truth. Not even Trump can stop you. Not even America can stop you. God will make it happen. Continue talking. Don't be silent. Tell them we will go to America. We will go to America. We will enter the plane. We will fly. saying sisemi kitu what you will say you will have to say lazima useme atisiongei atisiongei sina maneno bwana ile vile maisha yamenipeleka sina maneno bwana utaongea yes paka ikwe amen he was she was saying every day utasema kila siku jesus will come yes wana he said come where anasema wapi she waited until she was 106 ali ngojea mpaka alikuwa na miaka 106 even the comrade hata hata wale mnasoma na wao requested G, requested god to kill him hata hata ule aliomba mungu amuue after seeing the manifestation baada ya kuona udhihirisho look at your neighbor and tell them don't die before you see your desires mwambie mwanzako usikufe kabla hujaona tamanio yako how do you go to the agrovet to buy rat and rat Utaenda kwa duka ya madawa ya wanyama ununue rat and rat namna gani And you are saying this world does not favor me Na unasema ya kwamba hii ulimwengu haijanipendelea This world is not for people like you weak Yaani hii dunia si watu wadhaifu kama wewe This world needs people who are strong Hii dunia inahitaji watu ambao wako na nguvu Even Jesus said Hata Yesu akasema You need to be violent Unahitaji kukuwa mtu ambaye anachukua vitu kwa nguvu. Don't the violent that take it by force. Yaani ni wale wako na nguvu watachukua na nguvu. Don't just sit there and forgive everyone. Usikae tu hapo na unasamehe kila mtu. You are a fighter. Wewe ni mpiga nani? You are a fighter. Wewe ni mpiga nani? Fight whatever has been fighting you. Pigana na kile ambacho kinaitwa until you bring it right under your feet. Hadi ukaweza kuleta chini. If it is poverty right fight it. Until you become rich. There's no shortcut. Hakuna mkato. There's nothing like okay, ilikuwa ikwe hivyo. Hakuna, there's nothing like ilikuwa ikwe hivyo. Hakuna kitu kama hicho. You have to meet with what you have been speaking for. Lazima ukutane na kile ambacho umekuwa ukinena. That is why. Ndio maana the church refused to come out. Kanisa ilikataa kutokea. When they were told Peter is outside. Wakati waliambiwa Petero ako nje. They never stopped praying. Hawakuacha kuomba. Because the anointing that was there. Kwa sababu ile upako ilikuwa pale. Is you will pray. Ni kwamba mtaomba. Until you see. Hadi muombe. Muone. When they open the door. Wakati walifungua mlango. And they saw Peter. Na wakaona Petero. They stood praying. Wakaacha kuomba. You can't withdraw right now. You've come a long way. Wewe hautaachana nayo sasa umetoka mbali. You have pursued a long way. Wewe umefuatilia kwa muda mrefu. In fact you need to be crazy. Lazima ushikwe na kichaa. When something bad happens to discourage you. Kitu kibaya ikifanyika ikuvunje moyo. From serving God. Tokana na kutumikia Mungu. You are supposed now to increase your fire. Lazima sasa uongeze moto wako. Nine times. Yaani mara tisa. Until the devil be like. Hadi shetani aseme. I thought I was discouraging them. Now they are on fire more. Sasa wamewaka zaidi. And very soon God will come and see you through. Na hivi karibuni Mungu atakuja kukuona. How many of you are saying we'll continue talking? Ni wangapi wanasema tutaendelea kuona? How many of you are saying we are not stopping? Ni wangapi wanasema hatutaacha? How many of you are saying we are not stopping? Ni wangapi wanasema hatutaacha? We will continue to speak. Tutaendelea 
We will continue to tell people. How many of you are saying we will continue to speak? Raise your hands up. You will continue to speak. You will continue to speak. Speak until it happens. Become like Hannah. She spoke until it came to pass. Have you been blessed? How many of you are saying they have been blessed? And that's what I said. It's only in the house of God where you get a real word that can take you far. So after such a message, I don't expect you to move out here and say you don't even know where you are starting or at it. Buffward. Songa mbele. You see even even vehicles don't have two reverse gears. Hata magari hazina gear mbili za rivers. It's only one. Ni nyuma, ni moja. How many gears what? Gear ngapi ya kwenda mbele? Even 12. Hata 12 iko. Because the will of God is for you to move forward. Kwa sababu mapenzi ya Mungu ni wewe usonge mbele. That's why you see women have a problem reversing. Ndio maana unaona wanawake wako na shida ya kurudisha gari nyuma. Because they are wired in a way that them it is forever. Kwa sababu walitengenezwa hivi kwamba kwenda ni kwenda mbele. Women have a problem reversing. Wanawake wako na shida ya kurudisha gari. They will reverse the car like this you are telling them move here you will find them there. Reverse. Unaambia rudi hivi unapata wakiwa wamesonga pande ile. Because them it is moving forward. Kwa sababu wao ni kusonga mbele. So look at the woman next to you tell them move forward. Angalia ule mwanamke uko karibu nayo mwambie songa mbele. There is no reverse gear. Hakuna kurudi nyuma. So I want you to get on your feet. Nataka usimame kwa miguu yako. I want you to get on your feet. Simama kwa miguu yako. I want you to look at your neighbor. Nataka utazame jirani yako. Look at your neighbor. Angalia jirani yako. And I want you to prophesy to them. Nataka uwatabirie. Something good. Kitu kizuri. Prophesy good things. Watabirie mambo mazuri. Prophesy good things. Watabirie mambo mazuri. Tell them it's not yet over. Waambie haijaisha. Tell them it shall be well with thee. Pia itakuwa vyema na wewe. Talk to your neighbor something great. Ongea na jirani yako kitu kikubwa. Talk to them something great. Ongea na wao kitu kikubwa. Tell them they will be rich. Waambie watakuwa matajiri. Tell them they will be healed. Waambie wataponywa. Tell them they is gonna be okay. Waambie itakuwa vyema. Are you telling them it shall be well? Unawaambia itakuwa vyema? Are you telling them it shall be well? Unawaambia itakuwa vyema? I want us to do a praise. Nataka tufanye sifa. One. Moja. And then after that. Na baada hapo. We don't have a lot of time to do ministry. After that we're going to wind up. Tunawaambia wa kufanya huduma baada ya hapo. That is going to be a prophetic. Hiyo itakuwa what neno la unabi that you need to believe yenye unahitaji kuamini hakuna usiloweza that, that's what you going to sing hakuna usiloweza hiyo ndio tutaimba because sababu i have seen quite a number of people here nimeona watu kadhaa hapa struggle with paying rent wakingangana na kulipa pesa ya nyumba but i've also seen you na pia nimekuona relaxed in the very same house not wanting anything so i see there are some people that are so discouraged because of paying rent and from today as we sing this song you will never miss paying rent and you will never lack God will give you the money so from today I want you to believe that God said he will give you money to pay rent and not only rent one day you will have your own home Jesus so uh, where is Karam come we get to sing and, and I want you to believe that I'm doing that following the bishop 
so that one day you remember even after that day we sang that song after that we collect the offering and then we allow you to go home because we still have another mission to do this afternoon how many of you are ready to say how many of you know that God is able to do everything and anything let's do that Carol you can do that are you ready can you stretch yourself a little bit can you stretch yourself that's going to be our prophetic message and then we just wind up
These are our students. You say the memory of the righteous is blessed. And Father, I just want to make a prayer. This prayer is going to take them through. Every exam they are going to sit on. Father, I pray that they shall do it with excellence. I pray that in here we shall have A's. We shall have people that are going to do very well. I come again in the spirit of fear. As they sit for these exams, they shall not have fear. Fear will not be anywhere near them. They shall sit there with confidence. Others passed exams and these ones too will pass. I pray that you begin to bless their memory. Whoever they are standing for, I pray for their memory to be blessed. All these memories, they are going to be blessed. The memory is blessed. I pray for the memory to be blessed. I pray for the memory to be blessed. These memories are blessed. They are blessed. They are blessed. Go in peace and pass every exam. I want to pray for this young one. I 
kama gine sources of evil that has been trying to destroy her I rebuke demons and powers of darkness you have no power and authority against her I rebuke your powers right now you have no power and authority to hold these young girl again I destroy every power I destroy every force from today walk in freedom this altar sets you free you will never be bound again you will never be attacked again every power of the devil every force of the enemy every source of darkness is finally destroyed walk in freedom after this you will be blessed wherever you go your memory is blessed your memory is blessed your hands are blessed whatever you touch to do is blessed I take authority and power to bless your hands I break every curse every curse of the enemy has been destroyed from today walk in your freedom from today onwards receive grace to make you walk in your freedom you are blessed and you are never going to be bound again in Jesus name I do pray and I do believe and I just say the big amen you will not be bound again you are set free from today you have been baptized by the power of the Holy Ghost and you will walk in your freedom and there is no power from darkness that will hold you again let me have that anointing you are covered and you have been anointed you are anointed today this anointing will get you the freedom wherever you go in Jesus name I do pray for you and you are set free in Jesus name you are free hallelujah you can go and have your seats I want us to come to the next session of this service. Uh, I know there are people that came for prayers. We may not have a